Yo, I'm Saxon with Guy in a Cube, and in this Two Minute Tuesday, if you're using Databricks, you're gonna wanna know about this issue that I ran into last week. All right, let me paint the picture here. You connect to Azure Databricks with Direct Query. Everything looks great inside of Power BI Desktop. You publish to the service, and then when you go to the report, it tells you that it can't load the data model, there's some error. You go to Dataset Settings, it has a problem also, and I'm gonna show you how to fix it. So enough of all this talking, let's head over to my laptop. All right, so here is my Power BI desktop file, and this is connected through Direct Query to Azure Databricks. Also shout out to Hope Foley for hooking me up easily with getting an Azure Databrick cluster up and running. It was my first time. Okay, so we're done. We wanna publish this to the service, so we'll just go to publish. Sure, we'll save. Kick it off to my workspace. We'll go new workspace, select. Yep, I already had it up there, so we are gonna replace it. The first thing you'll notice is you'll see this error about, you know, we're unable to find a gateway. Don't worry about that. In this case, it's a cloud resource, ignore it. All right, let's head over to the service. And we'll see here, we'll go to our reports, we'll go to Databrick test, bam, cannot load the model, right? So it's just saying that we, we can't load the model, we can't have a, con or the connection can't be made for whatever reason. All right, let's go back to data set. And then we'll go to schedule refresh button. Bam, same thing, failed to load the data source. And then if we go into the gateway connection area, we'll also see that this is just spinning and it does say that we don't need a gateway because it's a cloud source. All right, so what the heck is happening? This took some investigation, but it looks like it's an issue on the Power Query side. So if we go back to Power BI Desktop, we'll go to Edit Queries. This is how you can work around it. Go to Advanced Editor. And what you'll see on the end here is the batch size equals null. So to fix this, what we wanna do is come in and get rid of that. We'll hit done. We'll do close and apply. And then once that's done, we'll just republish to the service. Again, we'll ignore that error, come back to the service bam, and then we do need to put in our credentials, so we'll go back into the data source property, and bam, we don't get that error anymore of failed to load the data model. Now it's saying, hey, we need your credentials, so let's go ahead and edit those credentials. We'll do sign in, and we'll also come back to gateway connection, and you will see that, hey, we don't need a gateway for this, so that's great, so let's go run the report. And there. The report ran, we are good to go. All it took was a little editing of Power Query. Hopefully this will be fixed in the service where you don't have to go do this, but if you are hitting this and you're trying to use Azure Databricks in direct query mode, make sure you make that edit to get it running successfully if you're hitting the error. All right, let me know if you have any questions down in the comments below. I know this is a little kind of out there, uh, but hopefully it will help you if you're running into this situation. If you like this video, hit that big thumbs up button, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome. And we'll see you in the next video.